colored pumpkin seeds can be used as manipulatives in your centers. You can sort them, have the children sort them by color. You can also use them for art projects and you can color them in all different colors that you can get for your food coloring. So if you'd like to keep watching, I will show you exactly how to do it. For this project, you're going to need white vinegar, you're going to need food coloring, an assortment of small containers for dyeing your pumpkin seeds. You'll also need paper toweling or otherwise some napkins to dry your pumpkin seeds on. Pour some white vinegar into your container and however many colors you want or however many containers you need to fill. I just pour a small amount, as you can see, just a very, it's a small amount in each one. And then for your coloring choices, you can put in any food coloring that you wish. So you just go ahead and put in the amount that you want in your first one, the amount that you want in your second one, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to mix them up. Then you're going to take dry pumpkin seeds and you're going to drop them into each one of your colors and you're going to let them sit and darken for as long as you would like um, and it's basically to bring out whatever kind of coloring you want. So for these I'm just going to leave them sit and when they reach the desired color I will come back and take them out. It's important to know that you can use the fresh pumpkin seeds after carving a pumpkin. The only thing you're going to need to do is make sure that they're fully dry. And you can do this by putting it in the oven for 350 degrees for approximately 20 minutes. And just let them completely dry out. If you do not let them dry out, you will end up with a coating. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but the skin that's left on if you don't fully dry them will just peel off of your pumpkin seed, unlike your ones that are fully dry that will absorb the color easily. After you have all of them dyed, you can go ahead and stick them on your paper toweling and let them dry. And it will take a significant amount of time for them to dry, so you're going to want to let them dry overnight. And that's really all there is to making them. Now all you need to do is store them in an airtight container, and they should stay good for years to come. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe.